Hello and welcome to another episode of Blake's Take where I unpack customer experience in three short minutes or less. Today I want to talk about insertion advertising where marketers insert themselves in the conversations that customers are trying to have. The other day I was driving my dog to the ER. She had a huge emergency. We didn't know what was wrong with her. So we're driving along and we've got Waze on, uh, GPS truly, on the phone. And a huge red banner pops across the screen. And I look at the red banner and I'm not driving, which is good. Um, but I look at the red banner and I'm wondering, what is this? Is this a warning? Was there an accident on the freeway? Is there something we need to be aware of on the shoulder of the road? No. It's actually a McDonald's banner ad telling me that sweet tea is on sale for $1. And if I just drive three minutes off the freeway, I'll be able to go to the McDonald's drive through and get sweet tea. This is so strange to me. We're driving in the East Bay in Northern California. And why would McDonald's start marketing a drink to us when we're trying to get to the ER to help our dog? And for me, this was a reminder of the insertion advertising that marketers are still trying to be successful with. So what does it mean to insert yourself in a conversation where you're not welcome? It's kind of like being at a party and you keep walking up to people who are having conversations and butting in with something that's not relevant. Like they're talking about the latest movie, we'll say they're talking about the Ghostbusters movie, and a marketer comes over and starts talking about oranges. <laughs> and so there's a lack of relevance. Also, they weren't invited into that conversation. So while I do applaud brands like McDonald's for trying to be unique and innovative by using things like Waze GPS to advertise things in real time to customers as they pop up, clearly I was driving and there was a McDonald's um, three minutes away, you have to be thoughtful about your approach because really I don't eat at McDonald's and I certainly am not going to stop for a drink when I'm trying to get my dog to the ER. So not only is it, I think, dangerous for people who are driving and using ways to be interrupted with advertising that pops up, um, but it's also, it makes me think that McDonald's is uh, not really listening and they're just sort of inserting themselves in an unattractive way. So what do you think about insertion advertising, interruptive advertising? Do you like this type of advertising as a consumer of it, or is it kind of uh, annoying? So that's all for this episode of Blake's Take. Let me know what you think in the comments section.